You know, I, I, look, the fact is I covered the trial. Michael Jackson was acquitted on all counts. Uh, he was found not guilty, and he was able to walk out of that court a free man. I talked to his attorney last week, Tom Mesro, and he said that the jury spoke so loudly it was basically saying this guy did nothing wrong. There are a lot of people who think Michael Jackson's weird. Al Sharpton, though, went further. He said the media have, have really painted a horrible picture, and there is a double standard in Al Sharpton's view. If you look at the way Frank Sinatra was dealt with when he passed away, when Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, he says is being treated differently. And he went so far as to say the U.S. Postal Service should waive its five-year moratorium after a death and honor Michael Jackson today. We're going to be speaking with his former attorney, uh, Thomas Mesereau, in the next hour, uh, uh, Brian. But let, let me ask you this. Do you think the media have been fair to Michael Jackson and its coverage? Well, you know, there's been a range of uh, uh, sides shown in the, in the last week or two. Michael Jackson, the musician, the entertainer, the, the father, the son, uh, and also the issues and controversies surrounding his personal life. But look, i got to say, what, what Representative King said, I, I really do felt he crossed the line. It's one thing to, to have that concern about the coverage and whether it's been excessive. It's another thing to call him what he called him a pedophile and a child molester after the man was acquitted of all the charges. Not narrow charges, as he said, but 14 counts, including 10 felony counts and 4 misdemeanors. That was just wrong.